Welcome to Honors Geometry Lesson 10.1 Introduction to Circles and some of the definitions that you're given today you'll have heard of and uh, they'll be more like review others will not be and they will be new terms so let's go ahead and move right along okay this equal DF here just means is defined as that's all that's going on there so when you read that just think a circle is defined as a set of points given distance away from a point the center is the given point and the distance away segment drawn from the center to a point on the circle is called the radius moving right along a chord is a segment drawn between two points on a circle a b is a chord AC is also a chord, but it's a special chord because it goes through the center. When a chord goes through the center, it's called a diameter. Moving right along. A secant is defined as a line, ray, or segment that intersects a circle at two points. Line MN is a secant. A tangent is defined as a ray or segment in a plane in the plane of a circle that intersects circle exactly once tangent st that line intersects the circle exactly once at s okay and those are some of the basic definitions now let's play all right let's play let's explore how two coplanar circles circles in the same plane coplanar circles can interact and intersect select each circle and move one of them to three the three areas so usually I would have you do this in class but since you're not in class right now I'll have to do it so I want to move a circle this circle here so that it has and this circle here so that they intersect in two places there you go now do it again so that the circles intersect exactly once Something like that. They hit each other, they kiss each other once. Okay, because my picture is down here. Uh, we're going to have to move this uh, up top. So, no points of intersection. So, I want it such that these two circles do not intersect each other. There you go. They don't intersect each other at all. Is there any other way that we could move those so they don't intersect each other sure you could have it such that one is inside the other and I'll try to make it so that it's the same space all the way around about like that okay and that's how two circles could possibly uh, be so that they don't intersect each other couple more uh, and we'll come back right back to this in a minute okay tangent circles are defined as two circles intersect at exactly one point hey we just had an example of that right here these are tangent circles hey wait a minute we missed another way that they could intersect each other they could be such that one is inside the other yeah that's a ticket so they could also intersect at one point, and these are both two sets of common, tan uh, common uh, tangent circles. Okay, common tangents are defined as a ray, line, or segment that is tangent to two uh, coplanar circles, and we're going to play around with that right now. Okay, how many common tangents do these two interacting circles have? If you said two, you are correct. Remember, common tangent. We, you just wrote it down is that they're tangent to two circles okay there's the two common tangents for two circles that intersect each other twice how many common tangents do these two circles have that are tangent well just like on the last diagram you got those common that common tangent that common tangent and lo and behold you're gonna have one that slices through just like that. How many common tangents with this? One. 
how about two circles that don't intersect and one isn't inside the other? Well, you're, of course, you're going to have that one and that one. But then you're also going to have a couple that slice through this way, one that way, and one that slices through like that. I need to fix that just a little bit. Otherwise, it's not going to be a common tangent. There you go. And how about uh, two circles that don't intersect one inside the other? Well, if I try to make a tangent to the inside circle, it's going to be a secant for the outside circle. So, with circles inside each other, you're not going to have any common tangents. And concentric circles are defined as two or more circles that do not intersect and have the same center. And I tried to make it so that those two look like concentric circles. You also might see concentric circles on a certain logo of a retail store. Yes, Target. Target's logo has concentric circles. Okay, let's learn a couple. Now we've learned a bunch of definitions. Let's learn a couple of theorems. The, ra the radius tangent theorem. In a plane, a line is tangent to a circle if and only if the line is perpendicular to the radius of the circle at its endpoint on the circle. So if you know a line is tangent, then that line will be perpendicular to the radius at its endpoint. Or if you know a line is perpendicular to a radius at its endpoint, then that line will be per perpendicular. That if and only if is a biconditional. So it could go hypothesis or conclusion first, depending. And the tangents, tangent segments theorem. Tangent segments drawn from a common external point are congruent. Your common external point is A. If you draw a tangent segment AX and AY, they're going to be congruent to each other. And this does uh, cover all the introductory uh, themes going on for uh, circles. So this does conclude uh, Honest Geometry, Section 10.1, uh, Introduction to Circles.